Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Loop Cloud library with your ADSR sample manager. So to do this, firstly we can see we have the Loop Cloud player, which is a plugin that we need to integrate so it speaks to the Loop Cloud app which we have here. So you can get the Loop Cloud player just from your plugins once you've downloaded it from their site. And then if we go across to the Loop Cloud app, you can see that we have all of the access to the standard stuff on the Loop Cloud. And we can go through and then we can either have the files on the cloud or we can also have them downloaded. So let's have a listen to some of these. And we can see we're connected to Ableton. So this app and Ableton are talking to each other. So let's say we like the sound of some of these, so let's just go and download a few of them and I can do that just by hitting download. So I'll just speed this up while I download some loops. And now that we've downloaded a load of these files, what we can do is we can actually go into Loop Cloud and we can find out whereabouts these are saved on our computer. And you can do that by going to this gear icon to the settings, preferences, and we can see this location here and we can press edit which will allow us to actually have a look at where this location is. So I can see it's library in Loop Cloud. So I'm just going to drag that into my favorites, just like that. So I can see Loop Cloud Welcome is now there. What I'll do is I'll close this. And then all I have to do is go to the ADSR Sample Manager plugin, click on Add Library. And I'm just going to point it to that same location. And there we go. We can see it's added 16 files. And if I have a listen, You can hear we've got the same synth chords. And now we have the ability to be able to play these up and down the keyboard. And what I could also do is very quickly test out a few different ideas. And say if we wanted to download some more stuff from Loop Cloud, then by all means we could go and do that. So we'll just download a few more. Dun, 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 dun. And now if we go back into ADSR, all we have to do, just one simple step, is we just hit refresh and we'll just see this number change. There we go, so it's now up to date and it's got our other files in there. And then we can go through and just try and find these. So we could probably find them quickest just by looking for vocals. I could either go for the vocals tag or I could just press vocals there. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Right. So there you can hear the vocals that are downloaded. And what I'll do now is I'm going to go back to the synth tag and I'm just going to put something over the top of this drum loop. So in this video, you learned how to integrate your loop cloud library with your ADSR sample manager.